Hi guys, it's Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. Welcome in. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up keybinds to deafen and mute within Discord. It's really, really easy to do, very quick, and you can quickly edit them as well. It just makes things a lot easier when you're playing and switching between different applications, particularly if you're streaming and you want to be able to mute or deafen yourself to stop people from speaking in your ear and it being streamed, or the other way around, people that you're gaming with to not hear the chats that you're giving to your stream. If you find this video useful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. You feel free to subscribe. I do loads of streaming videos. Finally, if you want to check out my stream, feel free to at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Let's get into it. So we're going to go ahead and just bring in um, Discord here. Really straightforward. F first, I'm going to click the user settings, which is located here. Once I've clicked that, you can go into keybinds section just here. Now, if you've already got keybinds added, then they will literally just uh, display here. If you've got no keybinds added, you click this button to add a keybind. When you add a keybind, there's an action that's unassigned, uh, but you choose which action you want first. So, for instance, if you want it to be toggle mute, you can set up a keybind for that. You just have to click record keybind, control shift Z as an example, and that now control shift Z will toggle mute on discord if you don't like it you can just get rid of it by clicking the x and again you can add as many of these as you want the default actions that you can set keybinds to are here i'll just do a quick scl scroll through push to talk push to talk priority uh, push to mute toggle to mute toggle to deafen uh, toggle vad toggle streamer mode toggle overlay toggle overlay lock activate overlay chat toggle screen share navigate back and navigate forward the main ones of course are toggling mute and toggling deafen i would recommend doing control shift m for mute and control shift d for deafening final thing i'm just going to quickly show if, you, if you're not a streamer you can pretty much just set this up now and it'll just work for you if you are a streamer and you've got a stream deck and you want to then link those key binds to a system hotkey on your stream deck then i can very quickly show you how to do that without installing any third-party applications. When you open up your Stream Deck, locate the place where you want to put the button. We then want to locate the system keys, drag in a hotkey, give the hotkey a title if you want, for example, mute. And then all we need to do here is actually replicate the exact same key bind. So it's observing keystrokes there. Control Shift D will be deafen. So just to illustrate that Control Shift D actually does work, I'm going to type Control Shift D. We see it's deafened. If I do Control Shift M, it will just mute. However, on my keybinds, I now have Control Shift D here. If I now press this this button on, st on Stream Deck, we can see it will toggle between muting and unmuting. So there you have it. Hopefully, you guys found that really, really useful. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you want to, and have a wonderful day. Take care.